In this tutorial, I will show you how to cast on stitches combining two previous methods. You would need one needle needle and a ball of yarn. Begin with a slip knot. You need to have yarn tail long enough to make stitches. Make a loop, then pull the working yarn through this loop from the back to the front, slide the slip knot over the needle needle and tighten a little. Hold the needle in your right hand, the yarn tail goes down from the thumb, the working yarn runs over the index finger. Hold the yarn end and tail end together on the palm with the bottom two fingers for the tension. To make the second cast on stitch, insert the needle from the back to the front under the working yarn that is away from you, pull it up a little, and you see we've created a loop on the index finger. Now drop this loop of the finger and pull the yarn to tighten the stitch on the needle. For the third cast on stitch, rub the yarn tail around the thumb counterclockwise two times, insert the needle from the bottom to the top and bottom two strand on the thumb, take the upper strand and loop it under, drop the loop of the thumb and pull the tail tightening the stitch. Now repeat again, take the working yarn that is away from you on the index finger, then drop the loop on the index finger and pull the yarn. Then work with the yarn tail, wrap it around the thumb twice, insert the needle from the bottom to the top and bottom strand, take the upper strand, loop it under, drop the loop and tighten the stitch. Again, take the working yarn that is away from you on the index finger, drop the loop on the index finger and pull the yarn. Then work with the yarn tail, wrap it around the thumb twice, insert the needle in bottom strand, grab the upper strand and loop it under. Drop the loop on the thumb and tighten the stitch. And the last time take the working yarn, drop the loop on the index finger and tighten the stitch. Then wrap the tail end around the thumb twice, insert the needle in bottom strand on the thumb, grab the upper strand and loop it under, drop the loop and tighten the stitch. Here we have our stitches that are cast onto one needle. Casting all this way, we work with the yarn that attached to your yarn ball and with the yarn tail. So before you start, make sure that the yarn tail is long enough to make stitches. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.